with Q102. And I'm Jason with Brown Derby. Welcome to Drinking 101. That's right. And uh, you bring over this beer. I, I'll be honest, I didn't recognize it. Yeah. Producer said, ooh, is that clutch? And I'm like, well, we play a couple of their songs. That's right. Um, but we are indeed speaking about the band Clutch. We are. We are actually talking about New Belgium Brewery. Not unknown to Drinking 101 over the years. We've always enjoyed their beers. Mm -hmm. um, however, we got some really special stuff this week. Kind of the first to taste this in America. Uh, or the world, depending on where Drinking 101 reaches. We'll just call it the world. Yeah, of course. Sounds it's silly good. me. And... Um, so you were familiar with like uh, New Belgium Ranger IPA and New Belgium Rampant IPA. They've kind of changed that. They're going back to, and they're repackaging, and they've come out with uh, the Ranger series is gone, and now they got the Voodoo Ranger series. And they're doing an eight hop pale ale and an IPA, and eventually they'll build on that over time as well. And so those are the first two beers that we're going to try. So the first beer we're gonna try is the Voodoo Ranger eight hop pale ale. Okay. Uh, oh, well, it tastes like a pale ale. Thank you. Oh, and now, and now Jason is going to tell you the professional way yes. of saying it. Yes, let me break this down for you. <laughs> On the nose. Wow. Shadow, you nailed that. <laughs> so, on the nose, very citrus, uh, very bright, uh, fruity. Tastes uh, almost smelt like uh, fruit, fruity pebbles in some respects. Very, very mild, but on my nose. What do I know? I, only I do guess. This. I only do this for I don't usually smell it. I just drink it. <laughs> that's my problem. Maybe that should be my 2017 resolution. Because I don't usually make smell resolutions. Smell yeah, smell, drink? Smell first, drink, then drink later. Yeah, smell first, then drink. Yeah, probably not gonna smell the roses. Them. Yeah, there you mm -hmm. go. I'm not going to stop and smell tequila. I'm just going to shoot it. <laughs> but I like that beer quite a bit. That's very nice. Eight different hops, of course, it's going to be very complex, a lot of body, uh, good flavor to it. Okay. Chad will just take my word for it. I am. That's what we're doing. So this is their Voodoo Ranger IPA. This is going to be uh, a little more citrus, bitter, fruit forward. Or as Shadow likes to say, ooh, that tastes like an IPA. <laughs> so... Almost a little stinkier. And that's the dankness kind of resiny to it. Are we talking about beer or weed? We're talking <laughs> about beer. Because every every <laughs> reference that you just said. That is dank. <laughs> uh, My defense, dank is a characteristic and trait that's associated with. Um, IPAs. Okay, that's drinking 101. There you go. <laughs> More education here for you, kids. Don't try this at home. Yep, tastes like an IPA. Thank you for breaking that down. Okay. Uh, I love this beer too. I've actually was always a huge fan of Ranger and Rampant. Um, I thought they were some of the better, well-made, uh, widely uh, available uh, everyday beers out there. Uh, I was kind of sad to see them go this route, but I kind of get it. You know, as we talked over the years, what the beer drinkers have become mm -hmm. is extremely, what's new? What's, you know, I could offer this beer to a customer who would drink this and say this, they'd come back the next day and I'd say, what did you think of that beer? And they said, it was the best beer I ever had. And I said, well, I got more. Are you interested? He goes, nope, what's, what's new? new? And so that's what breweries are forced right. to do. Uh, take things that, I mean, Ranger at one point, and this, I know this is a fact because I was told this from the brewery. It was the number two selling IPA in the country, uh, nationwide. So why would you have to rebrand that or get rid of that? And it's because the way that the world thinks now is so 30 seconds. Yeah, everything you, is. You have a really good point. I mean, what's what's new for you? What have you done for me lately? And so now they're taking the same instant beers gratification. and completely, yeah, instant completely rebranding them. Well, okay, so this last one, and this is the tie-in to your life. The clutch statement. The clutch statement. Yes. So, this is the Brock Band Clutch, a band who I'm familiar with, but I don't know a lot of. Mm -hmm. Never met them, also. I'm sure in your business you probably have met them yep. and 
partied with them? And... Nope. They don't like me. Okay. Well, at least the lead singer doesn't like me. Okay. And I swear, just backstory on it, I've never done anything to this guy. I've just literally like ran into him a couple times, but he's always not nice to me. Huh. So, Mr. Clutch Lead Singer. Who will remain nameless. I don't know what I ever did to you the two times but she's that we've sorry. run into each other. But she's sorry. I don't think I was sober. No, I wasn't the first time. Okay. Now but I think, the truth is But I think I was there. like in the way or something. I, I, It was like my... My first job in radio, and I think I was just standing where I wasn't supposed to be, and like he was on trying stage to. In the middle of the I'm stage not really making excuses microphone. for you, sir. You could have been a little bit nicer about asking me to move. Okay. okay. There you go. All the reviews and opinions are not necessarily reflected by everybody who does this show. Nope. Nope. So, Clutch. I still love them, and I still go see them in concert. I still listen to them when they're on the radio. There you go. Uh, Clutch. Several years ago, did a collaboration beer with New Belgium uh, called Clutch. Go figure. Uh, it's a very different style and a very different beer. So we've talked about uh, stouts. Mm -hmm. We've talked about wood barrel-aged beers. And we've talked about sours. Okay. This is, and so I can read it correctly, a wood-aged imperial sour stout. So they just took everything and was like... They just took it all made it into one That's this is a beer that is only made uh in the time that i've been in this business and by business i mean industry uh six years now this is the second time it's ever been made so it's not made really yeah it doesn't come out all the time it's very allocated so you're getting ready to taste something that so how many of, like i mean you got limited stock here and once it's gone it's gone yeah, very limited stock yes wow okay and cool. i'm using one of those bottles for this show to educate america or the world. All right. So, here we go. A wood-aged imperial sour stout. Love the color. Definitely sour and stout. You can smell the sour and the stout. You actually can. I mean. Look at you. I know. See, this New Year's That's resolution about month. smelling yeah, things before. Twice this month you've contributed. This is great. I may take next month off. No, I'm not doing this by myself. It'd just be me, like, passed out on a table. <laughs> After four <tequila laughs> shots. Four? Oh, you're not giving me much credit there, friend. So, I get it um, on the nose. I uh, almost get a lot of coffee. Yes. But... I don't know why that would be because I don't think that's part of this at all. Um, a little bit of bitter chocolate, but definitely sour. But a the bigger sour that you would sour think is, of. The sour is definitely there. But a bigger sour than you would think of. But it's not bad. It doesn't. Uh, I mean, mixing all those things together, you would think, oh my God, that could be a, a cluster clutch <laughs> on. Um, but it's not. It's. Really I actually like. I remember liking this beer quite a bit several years ago when it came out. Mm -hmm. uh, that when they came in, I basically bought everything that I could of it because I thought it was going to be very good, and I was right. I mean, this beer is very, mm -hmm. very good. It goes back to what we were talking about last week with kind of New Year's resolutions and getting outside of your comfort zone. You know, you see uh, wood-aged imperial sour stout take the clutch off of it you might get a little nervous most people be like yeah i'm yeah. gonna pass on that hardcore fans absolutely they're gonna they're gonna hey i'll drink anything clutch makes um but uh which was basically two beers in five years but right um, they're very bored and sober the remainder amount of time because there's just not a lot of clutch beer out there but, well it's here now so you better get your hands on it because it won't be around much longer that's right so oh, cheers, cheers.